And here is an example that will tie in a lot of these concepts to see if you're getting it. All right, so here's the setup. We have a half molar acetic acid solution. Um, and we're told that at equal, once the thing has equilibrated, the acetate, so acetic acid, this is vinegar. There's the formula. It is often abbreviated as HAC. This is acetate. AC minus, I'm going to abbreviate that. I'm going to abbreviate that as AC minus. And it has an equilibrium concentration of 3 times 10 to the negative 3 molar. So the questions are, what are the initial acetate concentrations? What is the equilibrium concentration of acetic acid, hydronium, and what's the Ka? And for any of these problems, I would highly counsel that the first thing you should do is just write down the equilibrium that you are working with here. And this is acetic acid, and it's going to be aqueous acetic acid donating a proton to liquid water. giving us hydronium, also aqueous, and the acetate ion, so the standard weak acid with water equilibrium. Now, we are told, so what can we gain from here? We know that the equilibrium acetate concentration is equal to 3 times 10 to the negative 3 molar. And from the stoichiometry, that also has to equal oh, it was equilibrium, equal to the equilibrium hydronium concentration. So let's look at what the Ka is going to be for this. So remember Ka is equal to the hydronium concentration times the acetate concentration divided by the acetic acid concentration. We already know two of these. Uh, let's see, so we know this, we know that. The one thing we don't explicitly know is what the acetate or the acetic acid concentration is. But we can figure that out um, because we know what the initial one is. So the equilibrium acetic acid concentration we can say is equal to the initial concentration now we know it's going to lose a little bit what's the um, and, and how much is it going to drop by well look at the stoichiometry so for you know, you lose one acetic acid molecule for every acetate ion that is formed. So if we know what that concentration at equilibrium is, we can figure this out, and we know that. So that we told you this was 0 0.50, and this is point zero zero three zero. So even just for rounding error, I'm going to keep an extra sig fig, and this is going to be 0.497. And now we know all these numbers, so we just plug them into here. So we've got 3 times 10 to the minus 3. Minus 3 all over. 0.497 and to two sig figs which is the proper number here this gives us 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5 and that is Ka for vinegar or acetic acid so if you could do that on your own you're in good shape